I'd like, I think I have time for one more demo. So to do that demo, I'd like to uh, invite, if he's back from the uh, dressing room, Adam Jacques from the uh, Advanced Products Group in Sydney. Thank you, Adam. Good afternoon, Adam. How are you? I'm very well, haven't oh, you? I'm a little bit puffed. It was a while, while away over there. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got for us, okay, Adam? Got a good demo for you. Let's go and have a look over okay, here. Okay, fantastic. So uh, the demo I've got to show today is, is all about applications. And it's all about the changes that we've seen in applications over the last couple of years. You know, there's been some leaps and bounds when it comes to usability in applications. We've had things like WPF applications come into play, DirectX rendering, all of mm -hmm. those types of things. Applications are now, well, no longer the types of things, sorry, I'm still a little bit puffed. <laughs> no longer the things that you come in in the morning and they're very clunky, you know, you've got to sit down and use them all day at work. They're really becoming a pleasure to use. So I've got some examples of some of these usability uh, features that we see in applications today. Up on the big screen, what you can see, of course, is uh, Windows Vista. Uh, with aero and glass, those types of things, transparent windows, and we can you know, flip through all the different types of applications that are currently running on this particular machine. And it's these types of improvements which are really causing a lot of processing to be required at the client end to be able to render those types of things. Let's have a look at uh, one of the applications here. We've got a, uh, a doctor's application. Doctor could be wandering around the, the hospital, have a look at uh, how a patient is going, their stats. I don't understand a lot about patient stats, but I, I believe this person's still alive. And uh, they can certainly flip through patient data, you know, spin tabs around, change between patients, do all those sorts, types of things. And it's these new technologies and improvements in user interface which are allowing for this really nice um, application to be used. Let's check another type of application, another example I've got here. A uh, engineer's type application. Engineer comes in, they want to design a, a small component of an aeroplane or something like that. They're able to get a great feel for how the component will be manufactured by using an application like this. They can zoom in and zoom out and spin around the, the component, really get some detail into what's going on. How about another one? How about Google Earth? I'm sure a lot of people uh, in the audience have used uh, uh, Google Earth. Let's, let's go over here and have a look. Again, a really highly intensive rendering type application, which gives you a really good user interface. So let's go to, um, oh, let's do, take the convention center here, for example. We can take Australia and we can zoom, 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 really smooth zooming down onto the Melbourne convention center. Okay, so, so, so this is really cool. And I love these new technologies. I'm a complete sucker, as you know. For anything that's a new technology. I noticed you scored the iPhone. It's not coming back, you understand <laughs> that. But Adam, you know, great demo, great explanation of what's going on in the, in the industry at large, but, but you know, this is a Citrix event, and, and I don't see Citrix technology yet. Okay, so today's demonstration is a project we've got running called Project Apollo. And what Project Apollo is all about is developing technologies to be able to deliver applications like this through Citrix products. And the great thing about today's uh, demonstration, you know, we've had these applications here running on the PC here. Well, that's been a little bit of a lie because, in fact, underneath the covers here, we have a WISE desktop appliance. All of these applications have been running through Citrix ICA, connected into Citrix Zen Desktop using Project Apollo. All of these great user interfaces are now deliverable to a user. No PC. How's that? Adam, that's awesome. That really is awesome. Now, can you tell me when this is going to be available? I can tell you that. I can you tell can? you that. Indeed. Fantastic. So we've got a tech preview going at the moment for Project Apollo, and it was released a couple of days now uh, ago. So you can go to the citrix.com website, log in for yourself, um, download the tech preview of Project Apollo, and you can get all of these user experiences with these types of applications with Zen Desktop. So download Zen Desktop as well, if you haven't already, and apply Project Apollo to it, and it's as easy as that. That's brilliant. So don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Wait just another couple of minutes. Thank you very much, Adam. What do you think, guys? Is that cool? Thanks, Mike. Adam Jacques.